Hi there Scorpios, thanks so much for tuning in. We're straddling the end of 2014 and the beginning of 2015 this week. So I have to remember which is which, but we are ending 2014 the same way we started it with Jupiter, the planet of abundance and opportunity out of phase in Leo. When 2014 started, Jupiter was out of phase in Cancer. However, the other nine planets are moving direct, which is a very good thing and signals that it's going to be a nice start to 2015. Because when all the planets, ex well, except for Jupiter, are in direct motion, it just, it just means that the momentum is there. Because sometimes the holidays get us sluggish, we're not at work, we're sleeping in, we're eating and drinking too much. And it's nice to have that boost, that fresh energy that we're getting where nothing is out of phase like Mercury or Venus, which can really slow us down and, you know, make things difficult. So it's going to be a very easy transition. On Tuesday, December 30th, the Capricorn Sun dances in a trine with the Taurus Moon, connection speaking to the power of love. If planets could talk, they might be saying something like this. We look forward to the time when the power of love will replace the love of power. Then will our world know the blessings of peace. And I think that's a really nice sentiment because it's, there's such a difference between the power of love and the love of money. If you think about it, it's completely, completely a different thing. Now in 2015, which starts on Thursday the 1st, with idealistic Mars in Aquarius sitting exactly opposite Jupiter in fiery Leo. Although this opposition is a carryover from last year, it's also a promise of the renewal that's in the works. Jupiter is in retrograde motion in Leo. And for you, that's your eighth house of joint finances and projects and intimacy. So something you may have decided to go into with a friend or a partner, maybe you're going to buy real estate or start a business or buy something together and use it, you know, as a team. That might be on hold until mid-April or maybe just not such a great idea to start until Jupiter moves direct. There's also a practical cancer full moon on hand Sunday January 4 reminding us to close the back door before we open the front one. This uber responsible full moon is all about taking responsibility for the past and doing the work to make the future a reality. Pluto's co-starring role in the full moon next to the sun and opposite the moon is proof that we all have the tools we need to heal our wounds, transform our sorrows and meet the new year with courage and determination. And as I said, the new year is an eight, eight number, which has no ending and no beginning. It's infinite. So it has infinite possibilities. And it's going to be a wonderful year for you with Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline in your third house of communication, of travel, if you've wanted a job where you get a transfer interstate or overseas, 2015 is your year. Have a great week. Happy New Year. And we'll be speaking again next week, Librans. Thanks for tuning in.